Seneca the Younger, the statesman and Stoic sage. In the heart of ancient Rome during the first century AD lived a man of remarkable intellect and character, Seneca the Younger. His life was a testament to the intricate interplay of philosophy and politics, for he walked the delicate tightrope between the corridors of power and the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Born in approximately 4 BC, Seneca came from a wealthy and influential Roman family. His early years were marked by privilege and access to the finest education Rome could offer. Yet, as fate would have it, his life would be a tapestry woven with both the threads of political intrigue and the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. In his early career, Seneca became known as a gifted orator and writer. His eloquence and insights into philosophy soon caught the attention of Emperor Nero, the young and volatile ruler of Rome. Seneca was invited to serve as Nero's advisor, thus beginning a relationship that would test his commitment to Stoic principles. Seneca's tenure in Nero's court was fraught with ethical dilemmas. As he advised the emperor on matters of governance, he found himself navigating treacherous waters. The excesses of Nero's rule, marked by cruelty and corruption, challenged Seneca's Stoic principles of virtue and justice. Yet, Seneca remained committed to his philosophical convictions. He believed that even in the most corrupt of environments, one could maintain inner tranquility and ethical integrity. It was during this time that he wrote many of his letters and essays, which explored Stoic philosophy in the context of power and politics. One of Seneca's key teachings was the Stoic acceptance of the brevity of life. He urged his readers to make the most of their time, to cultivate wisdom and virtue, and to live in accordance with nature. His writings on anger, in particular, offer profound insights into the human condition and the importance of emotional control. Despite the complexities of his political career, Seneca remained dedicated to Stoic philosophy. He emphasized that one's character and inner life were paramount, even in the face of external challenges. In his letters, he often wrote about the need for self-examination and self-improvement, echoing the Stoic idea that true wealth is found in virtue. As the years passed, Seneca's relationship with Nero became increasingly strained. He retired from public life, but continued to write prolifically. His philosophical works, including Letters to Lucilius and essays on topics like Providence and the Happy Life, continue to inspire readers to this day. Seneca's life was marked by its complexity. He lived in a world where power and wealth often clashed with the principles of Stoic virtue. Yet, through his writings and his unwavering commitment to Stoicism, he left a lasting legacy. Seneca's enduring message is one of resilience, wisdom, and the pursuit of virtue, even in the most challenging of circumstances. In the end, Seneca the Younger, the statesman and Stoic sage, serves as a reminder that philosophy is not merely an intellectual pursuit, but a practical guide to living a meaningful and virtuous life, even amidst the complexities of the human condition.